Yo, what's up, YouTube? On two coming out, we uh we've had a lot of a lot of ads for a new config. ReWASD switched up their UI, so we're gonna go over today. I'm gonna start from the beginning, so everybody can get this working if you haven't already. Um, if you have any questions, I stream on Twitch. Vortex One M. I uh next the next few weeks I'll be streaming with this, just practicing with it and uh with other games and shit too. So come come follow say hi and uh you got any questions you can you can reach me there or on twitter at vortex1m yeah without further ado let's get into it so first thing you want to do is download rewasd and then you're going to want to open it and run it and it's going to ask you to restart your computer just restart your computer and come back here so now that you've done that you're going to open up the app, and I've made this a lot easier this time. There's going to be a link in the description with my config. You just click on the link in the description, it'll take you right to it. I've already got it copied, so I'm going to paste it here. And it'll take you right to my config. And you're going to click Import Config. When you do that, you're going to click on the file, and then click Import. And it'll already be ready to go. Alright, so now that you got your config loaded, one of the main things you need to you need to do, and by the way, this only works with a wired mouse. One of the main things you need to do is come right here to this plus button. Click edit group and find your keyboard here. I have the Logitech G Pro Gaming keyboard. Click on that. And my MX518 gaming mouse is a Logitech mouse. Click on that. Make sure they're they're together. And I got the DualShock 4 for later because I'm going to be going over how to do this on PlayStation and other consoles. Also, because you can Bluetooth this to other consoles. We'll talk about that in another video. And uh, make sure you, uh, you subscribe because at my next video I'm going to show everybody how to add a anti-recoil script to this also. So... Stay tuned for that one, and yeah, just make sure you have these two grouped, at least these two. You could do your you could do the controller too if you want, or if it's already like that, it's fine, you know. And then close it up. Right here, you should you should see. It should register your your uh, mouse and keyboard there. So now now that you got that, you click apply to slot, and click OK. Now that you clicked on that. You should lose your mouse. You won't be able to do anything. You can't move your mouse anymore. If you click the home key again, you should be able to move your mouse. All right. And for those of you that don't know how to change this, you to to make make another button to change this. You're going to want to change this right here to whatever button you want. So if you want it to be delete, you change delete. Right? And that'll it'll go away, right? So it just switched the insert on me. All right. So say say we make it delete. And you'll see. You'll notice it went away right here, right? So I'm going to change this back to the home key. You can make this whatever key you want. Whatever key you would like. All right. So after we do that, you select your key. And make sure you pick the pick the one with the purple shift right there, the purple one. It's going to be the color purple, right? You know, it's going to say four with purple with a finger. You know, like this one, it's green. It's going to be purple. So you're going to change this, and you're going to click shift mode. And you're going to want to change that to shift layer four. And change it also change it to toggle. And then click off. And click apply. All right, before you load up the game, you want to go to whatever app you use to change the DPI on your mouse. I use Logitech G Hub and you're gonna to want to make sure you have it set to 800 DPI. This config works with 800 DPI and you're gonna also want to make sure you have one set to max DPI and on a shift button that you can shift pretty easily. Whatever key that may be you can change that in the app and and this is for used for flying in because when you turn with a mouse and it's set to controller it's really hard to fly in. So all right, now you open up the game, go to your game, and it, you'll you want to make sure a couple settings. Go up here to settings. You're gonna want to make sure you got a couple settings set up. So go to controller, 
and you want to make sure your aiming input device is set to controller. You want to make sure your input device is set to controller. And another thing you're going to want to make sure you do is set your sensitivities to 20. 20. I always raise up my uh, ADS sensitivity multiplier to 2. All right, now click on advanced. And you're also want to going to want to go down here to backpack alter at combat and combat behaviors to backpack alternate control. You want to turn this on. And this will make it where you can navigate the backpack with your keyboard. Because for some reason it wasn't working when it was off. So I had to change it to cuz when it's off it uses the D-pads to navigate the interface. All right. So that'll change it to navigate on your keyboard. And, uh that, that's basically it, man. You got it. You're ready to go in game and uh I got some gameplay. I'm gonna play after this. You wanna see it, you wanna see it in action. I got eleven kills and died to a guy camping at the edge of the circle. Uh it only took me thirty minutes to get this. I played a couple games, my first few games. You you see I'm not a very high level. I played a little bit more last night too after that off stream and uh messing around with the config. I did the no recoil stuff. So like I said, uh subscribe. Uh in my next video, it'll come out within the next couple days. I'll be showing everybody how to add anti-requill to this script. And you can make it a, go down or up or down as much much as you want. You There's a lot of things you could do with this. And like I said, I'm, I got more videos coming. I'm going to be talking about gyro in the future, etc. But uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all joining me. appreciate y'all watching. Thank you. And uh, here's some gameplay, man. Check it out. Oh no! Oh, go one, dude. Go one. Smart, almost got me. All right, all right. So space bar, space bar, space bar. All right, and then F to drop. with it whoops man this thing right here is would be nasty with no recoil you have a little have something to pull down slightly whenever fucking a little bit of delay on it put a little script on it jesus didn't be unstoppable i wouldn't miss the shot right there probably Still got Hey, I'm friendly. Hold on, hold on. No, nah, you ain't friendly, guys. Nah, I, already friendly, I already know that trick. I already know that trick. Nah, I'm dead ass. I only got a fucking handgun, my boy. I'm just respawned. <laughs> all right, we'll run away. All right, we'll run away. All right, all right, all right. All right good looking. All right, my boy. My bad dude, I had
<laughs> I don't know how to detonate it. Hold on. I didn't know how to detonate it. I wonder if I can get another UAV. Damn, boy. 